Lieutenant Rogov's crew was in a big battle at the Barakati plant in November 1942. I'm really into learning about war stuff. In August 1942, the German army tried to take Stalingrad, but it turned into a huge fight. The city was destroyed, but both sides kept fighting really hard. The Germans attacked with planes and artillery, and the Russians fought back. The situation was really tough, but the Russian troops managed to push back the Germans. The Germans captured some important places in the city, but the Russian soldiers managed to take them back. It was a really intense battle. The battle for Stalingrad was incredibly intense and brutal. The fighting lasted for days, with both sides suffering heavy losses. The Germans and Russians fought fiercely for control of the city, with countless buildings and areas changing hands multiple times. The city was devastated, and the fighting was described as a titanic struggle. The Soviet army received reinforcements, but the Germans continued to launch powerful attacks. Despite the fierce resistance, the Germans were able to cut the Soviet forces in half and reach the rear of the Soviet army. The battle was described as hellish and was marked by relentless fighting and heavy casualties. The Battle of Stalingrad gave birth to a new type of Russian infantry called the Stormtroopers. The Soviet troops built strongholds with garrisons that could defend themselves for a long time. They used street fighting tactics and acted in small groups armed with machine guns, grenades, flamethrowers, and explosives. The Red Army soldiers and their commanders showed initiative and determination, fighting without high command. The battles were extremely bitter, with heavy losses on both sides. The German 6th Army was losing its strength. Hitler told his army to defend most of Russia but keep trying to take Stalingrad in 1942. The Germans attacked Stalingrad, but the Russians fought hard. The Germans got close to the Volga River, but they couldn't take the city. The fighting went on until November. The leader wanted to take over the city, so Paulus had to get ready for another attack. On November 11, 1942, seven German divisions, including two tank divisions, launched an attack again. The ice on the Volga made things worse for the 62nd Army, which got cut off. The Nazis broke through the defenses of the 95th Infantry Division and reached the Volga. Chukov said that the drunk or crazy fascists got ahead. The Twikovites formations got cut for the third time. The 138th Division was cut off, forming the island of Ludnikov. This was the last success for Paulus' army. The Twikovites managed to hold on in other parts of the city until November 20. Chukov bought some time. The German army got stuck in the city ruins and couldn't move. Stalingrad turned into a big problem for the Germans. In the battle between the Volga and the Don, the Germans lost a lot of people. When the attack stopped, the German group found itself in a tough spot. The Fuhrer didn't want to change things. The Red Army was getting ready to fight back. They planned to surround the 6th German army and attack Rostov. They wanted to create a threat to the German group in the Caucasus. The Soviets planned to strike from the southeast and the south of Stalingrad. The German formations near the city wouldn't be able to help if the Soviets broke through. The Soviet command tricked the Germans about where and when the attack would happen. On November 19, 1942, Operation Uranus started. The Soviet armies broke through on both sides and started to surround the enemy. The Nazis were too late to stop it. The Red Army defeated the German tank in motorized formations. The Soviets turned out to be good students. On November 23, the Soviet fronts linked up east of Kalik. The Stalingrad cauldron was formed, and 270,000 enemy soldiers got trapped. It was a turning point in the war. <laughs>